you Beyond the Brief presented by iPulse. I'm Ariana Schaefer. And I'm Ricky Freeberry. Last Friday, President Dr. Kevin Ross dedicated the Remembrance Plaza as part of a special ceremony. The Remembrance Plaza is a memorial to honor and remember the lives of the four Lynn students and two faculty members who were on a mission to help Haitians with food for the poor when the tragic Haiti earthquake struck back in 2010. Now, I really, really love um, the memorial. It really took my breath away, and it was really emotional for me. I really same. felt the presence. What, what did you feel about uh, it? The well, same uh, emotions you had because we, we knew some of the people who were lost, but uh, when you look at the program, for those who were able to be at the program and hear the, uh, the moms speak, when they talked about how the architects really stopped and tried to get in great detail, uh, captured not only those who were lost, but what the trip was about, when you read about it, all the little increments and elements that go into the wall, it, it really makes you go, wow. They, so I would suggest that everybody read up, it's online, about uh, what that wall symbolizes, because it, will, it is breathtaking. And, uh, for those who weren't able to attend the ceremony, we now have a recap for you. Today, March 16th, marks an important day for the Link community. Just over two years ago, four students and two professors perished in the Haiti earthquake. But today, Lynn unveils the Remembrance Plaza, a plaza that will help keep their memories alive. An extremely heartfelt thank you to all the donors who made this incredible memorial possible. The overwhelming response and generosity of so many shows just how much Dr. Bruno, Dr. Hartwick, Stephanie, Brittany, Christine, and Courtney meant and still mean to the Lynn community and far, far beyond. With over a thousand members of the community coming out to show their support, the day proved to be a huge success. The words of President Ross and the victim's parents touched a chord in everyone's hearts. I think it means a lot to the Link community because it's um, benefiting everyone and giving a positive message. I, I think it's overwhelming and, and at the same time it gives them a place and us a place to go and see and remember how they lived and remember what the Journey of Hope was about. It makes you realize what and how much you can do and how much of a difference you can make just by trying to help others. They definitely brought um, the people of Lynn University together because it also brings up the sole purpose of Lynn University to come together and make a difference in the world. Today when you pass by you can't miss it so you have to be tempted to go in and see the people who made a difference in Lynn University. Um, it's probably the biggest memorial I've ever seen at a university. Um, so yeah I, I definitely think that uh, you know People are going to remember them, I and mean, their names are on all the prisms, and so, yeah, I think so. Reporting live from Lynn University, this is Nicole Tha. Before spring break, the Office of Multicultural Affairs closed out Black History Month by presenting an evening with Malik Yoba, an accomplished actor who has appeared on numerous television shows and movies. His message to the Lynn community was about the importance of self-sufficiency, accountability, integrity, service, and even entertainment. Here is a recap of the event from Jennifer Murillo. Malik Yoba is an accomplished American actor and singer. He has starred in several TV shows, dramas, and series such as New York Undercover, Cool Runnings, Why Did I Get Married, and now is an FBI agent in the sci-fi series Alphas. Today we have the opportunity to meet up with him on this very campus and learn more about his work. What do you think about? You care about people, right? And so do your art. You want to figure out a way to communicate that. Well, some people don't really care about other people. Some people are selfish. I can't help myself, there's something about my TMA. So I pray to God I know that He made me this way. I try to. Yopa even invited Lynn students to participate in the event on stage. So, did anything I say make sense? Students had the opportunity to meet and greet the actor. Autographs and pictures were granted, and he openly spoke to others about his career and community work. Today we have the pleasure to speak to Malik Yoba. He's a famous actor and occasional singer, and it is really a pleasure to have you here in the iPulse for Lynn. Thank you. Gracias, mi amor. Gracias por venir. You also speak Spanish, too. Claro, claro que sí. 
Okay, so um, I heard a little bit of what you talked to students about, and you talked about believing in yourself, believing in your work and what your dreams are. What advice can you give to college students that want to reach out for their dreams? You ain't been nobody till you've been yourself. A homeless man said that to me once when I was about 20 years old. But that always stayed with me because I think that so many times people have, um, they, they work so hard to be something that someone else wants them to be. They do it for their parents, they do it for their friends, they do it for whatever. But I think that you have to listen to your, your own inner voice and um, you know, follow that and know that um, this moment is the only life you have. It was truly an honor to have him at Lynn today. This was Jennifer Murillo for Beyond the Brief. So what are we doing with this video? Do I get a copy of this? The Coney 2012 movement has gone viral all over the internet with more than 32 million views. The video gives an explanation of what Joseph Coney is all about and why awareness is being brought to this subject. The video depicts Coney as one of the world's worst war criminals. The campaign is intended to make him infamous in order to raise support for his arrest. I've also got the chance to ask folks what they think about the whole Coney movement. This is Stephanie Venegas reporting live from Lynn University. Students here at Lynn have certain issues that they are concerned about. One of the issues being is what is happening currently right now in Uganda. Let's see what the students have to say and feel about this certain issue right now. In Uganda, Africa, there have been disturbing reports about child abductions going on for about 30 years. The person responsible for these horrible events taking place is a man by the name of Joseph Kony. We asked students if they know who Joseph Kony is. I do not. No. Yes, I do. When asking students what they know about Joseph Kony and his actions, we got mixed reviews. It's just so shocking because living here in the U.S. and I grew up up north, there's nothing like that. Like, there's no segregation of any kind and, like, all the people are very close-knit together. There's no one who is after anyone else. There's no, um, so, like, sex trafficking up north. So I never really heard about it until I saw this film. It's common for me, though. So it's common for you? It's, not, it's nothing new. It's not shocking like it is to maybe people in the Western world. So Coming from Zimbabwe. So you're used to this? could say that. Um, I, I feel it's horrible. I think it's a horrible thing that he's doing. Um, I think that, you know, that, that a change needs to be made. The guy's a criminal. Um, I think we should do something about it. Uh, you know, I'm all for it. We found the students care about the subject matter and are talking about these actions that they want to take to help prevent the malicious subject matter happening in Africa. I think all of us, you know, like maybe should like stick together and, you know, try to like help fight this and not give up on, you know, capturing Cody and also like helping the people and us bringing those children back home to their families safe and sound Well, get, every, get, everyone, get everyone around the world involved about it, you know, make it a world news all over the place, like, you know, put on posters, bulletin boards, everything, like, you know. If we have to like uh, come together and make a huge like video and send it out to them or whatever, whatever it takes to, to capture this man, like I'm for it. Well, you know, uh, I, I guess first, you know, get his name out there because I, I, I feel like, you know, that there's a lot of people that don't know who he is. Um, and like advertise, but advertise his name, I, ba I basically you can do. Um, it's just, just getting his name out there so that people can find out who he is and, you know, and what he's doing, the horrible things that he's doing so that, you know, so that people can, you know, force the issue. This is what our students have to say. Stop Coney 2012. Stop Coney 2012. Stop Coney 2012. Stop Coney 2012. That was just some of the thoughts of the students here at Lynn. This is Stephanie reporting live from Beyond the Brief. It's an exciting time for seniors here at Lynn University with graduation less than two months away. Seniors spent time last week picking up their graduation caps and gowns, announcements, and filling out last-minute paperwork in preparation for walking across the stage in May. I pulled Scott to attend a senior slew and ask graduating students a couple of questions. With graduation around the corner, Lynn students prepare the process to receive their cap and gown. You can donate for the class gift here. Here, students can pick up their class ring. 
So I'm gonna restock this one again. It actually. Is... I first like to congratulate you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Very excited. Yes. Um, does getting your cap and gown make you have more senioritis? Probably, because it'll be sitting in my room, and I know it's there. I'll probably want to try it on. <laughs> What's your plans after graduation? Um, getting my master's in communications. Is it scaring you knowing you're entering the real world soon? Kind of, but I still have school left, so it's a slow. Slow approach. Well, thank you very much for talking with us today. The checkout process usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes, and in the end, you will receive your cap and gown. What was your favorite class at Linden University? Uh, probably my film classes, my like, film production and directing. Oh. What was your least favorite class? Math. No one likes math. <laughs> um, is it scaring you knowing you're entering the real world? Yes and no. I mean, it's exciting, but at the same time, I have to go out there and hopefully find a job soon. So you don't have a plan to get after graduation? No. I hope to see everyone for the big day, and congratulations to the class of 2012. Definitely an exciting time. It was uh, bittersweet, if you will, being there. A lot of fun. Uh, I bet you're excited. I'm super excited, but the graduation gown, it's huge on me. Oh, it's you huge. Like to, do you get um, it tailored? Is that what you do? No, you I think you wear it as it is. All but right. anyways, thank you all for tuning in to this week's edition of Beyond the Brief. See you next time.